placement of the screws in your shoes can be kind of important. I don't really put anything right at the toes because I'm a little bit nervous. I never have, and I've done fine, but I'm a little bit nervous about catching my toe, you know, on something as I run along. I might get tired, and sometimes if you start to shuffle after, you know, quite a few miles, you have a maybe a tendency to shuffle a little bit and catch that toe, and I don't want to do that. I do put some up towards the front, but not really close. But what I do look for is the wear areas on my shoe. So you can see on my heel, there's a, on the outside, there's an area where it's where it worn quite a bit. I make sure I put, you know, cover that area with screws. Some of the areas where it doesn't look like there's a lot of pressure, then I won't put screws in that area. But I keep them towards the outside, and um, and if you have any gel or air um, inside of as a cushioning in your midsole, then I would definitely avoid that area and putting screws in there. Mizuno has the wave. Um, plastic plate in their shoes and sometimes if you, I had a pair of Mizunos that I like a lot and but I know that when I put the screws in there I needed a pre-drill with a drill to hold that will go through the plate because the screws wouldn't go through by hand. Another thing to keep in mind is if you're using screws with a quarter inch head um, you can just use the regular bit that you use to put a, a screw head or, or something like that into your drill and then this end right here will just fit right into it. It's got the same hexagonal type uh, shape as the head, so you don't need to really buy another adapter at all. You can go that way, or else you can just go ahead and, and buy an adapter for your drill, or just use a, a socket like I'm going to use and with a quarter inch adapter. I have different size screws, different lengths. I do have um, some quarter inch heads and then five eighths inch heads, and I've always used a quarter inch before, um, but I'm going to try some of these 5 8 inch ones. I think they're they're definitely a, a, the um, shaft is a lot wider, and like I said, I had any problems that I'm experimenting, so I'm going to go ahead and just try to use some of the wider ones and see how that works. I'm, I'm going to put those in the heel, uh, so the wider and longer ones I'm going to try in the heel, but the shorter ones I'm going to put up towards the four the four foot area. One of the things you don't want to do is put the screws in these recessed areas. You want to have them on the prominent areas that are going to hit the ground. So then I'll just go ahead and use a, the nut driver and just snug these up. So, which really it is not hard doing this in the first place. I can just feel it tightening right there. Actually there's one point where I can start to feel it remove the material. So ten minutes later this is what I've got. Two pair of shoes.